here at Les Bolstead Golf Course for the Four Club Challenge. This isn't even fair. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. We're outside today on a warm, almost summer day here in Minnesota for the four club challenge. Uh, we're gonna use a total of four golf clubs for nine holes and we're gonna see how we perform. But uh, the first part of that, of course, is the strategy and which clubs to choose. So Thomas, you've played out here a bunch of times and we've already got a few videos on our channel of us playing out here at Les Bolstead. We're gonna play the front nine today. Uh, what's your strategy and which clubs are you going to choose today? Well, first off, the clubs, the four clubs, one of them has to be a putter. So it's actually right, going to yeah. be three clubs. So first off, I'm going to be including the putter because that's going to be important. It's going to help mm -hmm. me score. So the current putter that I'm playing right now is I went away from an arm lock putter. I'm playing traditional standard length putter okay. for, for a little couple, last couple of weeks. So I'm excited to put that to the test there too. Um, but the next thing I'm thinking about is the par threes. On the front nine at the U of M Les Bolstead, there are three par threes. So I do know the distance on, on those holes. They're around about between 160 and 180 in length mm -hmm. per hole. Now, what I'm thinking about is the wind direction. So I'm trying to figure out what wind direction they're gonna, gonna be playing. It's probably about a 10 mile an hour wind. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you, do you know where the wind's coming from today? I, I don't right now. You don't? All right, well, I've already, I've already looked there. it up. I'm already ahead of the game, game here. So <laughs> the wind is coming south-southwest at about 10 miles an hour. I looked okay. on my phone. I also used the Arcos app. So I kind of jumped on there. I was just curious to see what they would recommend for, for shots there too. So first off for me, my iron I'm gonna take is going to be the eight iron. Okay. So that's gonna be the first club. So I like to hit bombs as well. So I'm gonna hit driver as well. So uh -huh. it's a fairly short course. And if I'm pretty accurate off the tee, I can finesse it nicely, but I like to play fairly aggressive off the tee. So I'm gonna play driver. I think okay. it's just fun to hit driver. I enjoy hitting driver more than I hit three wood or, or nine off mm -hmm. the tee. And then finally, wedge. A lot of holes if I hit driver, I'm gonna have a lot of shots around about 80 to 100 yards away. I use my 60 degree a lot there too. And if I do miss the green, well, there's a good chance if I've got a seven iron, an eight iron in my hand, and I have it a knockdown, I don't quite pull it off because I'm not used to that distance, or I get stuck in the trees, I may not get the ball on the green. So yep. I gotta make sure I got a good rescue. So I'm gonna go driver, I'm gonna go eight iron, I'm gonna go 60 degree, and then my putter. Okay, okay, so that's the four clubs. Um, I, I think, so based on the couple of times I've played with you out here, that seems like a pretty good setup because you can hit your driver well far enough on most of the par fours to get within that wedge distance. Um, and then par threes, you've got covered most of the time with eight iron. I'm doing things a little bit differently. I've got three wood. I'm gonna use my G425 LST three wood off the tee. Uh, I'm not very accurate off the tee as you've seen uh, with driver. And I feel like I've been hitting three wood a lot lately because of my long delay with my driver coming in. and. I've gotten comfortable with that. So I'm gonna go three wood off the tee. With iron, I'm gonna go seven iron. Um, and I just wanna, you know, if I get to that 180 yard par three, I wanna make sure I have enough club. I don't really wanna be doing that full swing with eight iron to make sure I get it there. Um, so I feel like I'll have a little bit more control over things with my seven iron if I can chop down the distance a little bit. And then 58 degree wedge. Um, I have the TaylorMade Mill Grind High Toe 58 degree wedge. And then my putter. So there's my four clubs. Um, I. You know, I'm very curious to see how this goes because I've done a few of these challenges in the past, just like in my college days with some of my teammates. But this is, you know, a little bit different, and now it's going to be on YouTube. So. Yeah, and in fairness, your fairy wood probably goes as far as my drive when you hit it pretty straight there too. So it makes sense why you'd probably do a fairly similar mm -hmm. setup, knowing the courses, knowing the yardage on the par, th the par threes. It's going to be that seven to eight iron. I'm hoping I guess to win right because I was stuck <laughs> between seven to eight, eight iron there too. Okay. So. If I need to, I might need to try and de-loft the yeah. eight iron a little bit, put it back in my stance. Sling a draw in there. Put that dynamic loft <laughs> lower and swing a draw in there too. But uh, I think it gives me a little bit little bit more playability with a little more loft where I can okay. try and manipulate some, some shots there too. So it's time to take the other clubs out of the bag. Yeah. So we're going to get rid of the other clubs. We're not even going to bring them out on the course so we can't even try. So let's <laughs> just kind of leave the, the driver, the putter for me, it's the eight iron and the 60. A light everything. bag. Everything. It's gonna be a very light bag. We're, we're gonna ride around, so, but I want to make sure we get these out, so we're not even tempted to use anything else. Wow. It's gonna be a fair test. So, let me ask you: Do you have any goals for today? Do I have any goals? Yeah. Um, I would like to keep. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say I'm gonna keep it in the 30s. Okay. That's my goal. My Perfect. goal is to keep it in the 30s today, because cool. I feel like last couple of times I've been right around, you know, high 30s, low 40s when we played out here. So I want to keep it in the 30s here with, uh, with four clubs. And once again, for me, I'm gonna 
try and break par. It's yeah. usually a, a, a good challenge there. If I can maybe get one or two under, I'd be I'd be pretty happy. Yeah. Well, uh, let's. You ready to get warmed up here? Maybe we'll tee off. Let's let's go get warmed up and go play some golf. <laughs> Hot and windy out here. Not like my favorite conditions to play in, but it's still a nice day and we have sunshine. So first hole here, I kind of have to cut the corner, I think, with my three wood. Otherwise, if I hit seven iron, I'm very much laying up a lot. So three wood, I kind of have to cut the corner. Don't want to go too far either. Kind of pull hook it through. So this is a tricky tee shot here, actually. Right now, we're, we've either got three wood driver or well, either for either of us or seven or eight iron. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Seven or eight iron's not gonna get so us far enough. That's the thing is, really, a seven iron twice is not, distance-wise, it might actually match up for me, but for this hole, seven iron, seven iron. But I think I wanna take the risk of three wood and then for a short wedge. Oh, that could be interesting. And save. Through the fairway. Ooh. Is that the right angle? Might be just a little too far to the right. He smoked it. Yeah, that carried 300 yards. Wow. <laughs> Is that on the green? My ball rolled into this thick grass over here. I've got roughly 90 yards. I couldn't quite get a direct shot at the pin for a rangefinder because I've got a large tree in the way. So about 90 yards, I'm going to try and go over this thing and get it somewhere near the green so I can make par. It's kind of the plan. I'm over the tree. Never driven this green before, and I overdrove it. The challenge is going to be a 60 degree from this spot, though. I don't normally trip with my 60. This shot goes against everything that I teach. 60 degree from just off the edge, with the flags a long way away. Come on. Ugh. That was pretty good. Slide left. Ooh, smoked that one. Good, good pun, just a little firm. You come back. Ah, stressing over bogey putts. I don't like that. Well, uh, good start. All righty, birdie for Thomas Campbell. We got seven iron, he's got eight iron, but 170 yards into the wind. It's about an eight to 10 mile an hour wind kind of coming at us here. He's trying to draw back. I think I would have got the it, distance, though. right? Oh, yeah, we're right next to each other up there. We're two yards apart. Sit, 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 sit. I guess don't sit. <laughs> All right. Two two. It's a good start. All right. This isn't even fair. Course record with four clubs. Yeah, if you get out of here with like a 30 on the front, you're going to have to play the <laughs> entire keep round. Playing. That's got to sit down. Hit it. Hit it. Mm. Mm. All right. Well, two birdies and two bogeys. Birdies to bogeys. Short game. Yeah, that's perfect. That's money right there. That is 114 club speed. I hit that pretty good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, 314. Yeah, that'll, that'll do. That'll do. Should be another 60 degree on the green. You don't need a backstop. That was a great shot. Really good. He does it again. Right. Can't birdie with more if you don't birdie the first three. Yeah. That's it pretty good. 
I got a long ways to go to catch up to this guy. Three birdies in a row. Um, he was jokingly saying, like, you know, what if I shoot the course record with four clubs? But I'm like, I don't think he's actually kidding because, I don't know, I mean, he's got another short wedge here and could make another birdie. So, I don't know, you might be witnessing something pretty crazy right now. Nice birdie. Mm -hmm. Coming for me. Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> right on your tail. That's good. Did go left. It's a good save. Thanks. All right, all right. Well, Thomas, we're on the 60 box now. We played five holes. You got to a really hot start there, and then had a nice save there. Um, what do you think so far? And have you, would you, in hindsight, change anything about your setup yet? I wish I had seven iron. Mm -hmm. Hole two, even though I chipped in to make birdie, and then that hole it got up and down. But both times I came up a little bit short. I did misjudge the wind a little bit. It was hurting on both those holes. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping on hole eight, the other par three, that at least the eight iron is going to help me out on that hole. Yeah. But I probably would have wished I had seven iron. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I, I mean, I, I've had, I had one shot really where I didn't have a club, and it was uh, my second shot on the third hole. I hit a bad tee shot, and ended up at like 130 yards. My seven iron had an awkward distance. But uh, overall, I mean, we've, we've, we know this nine enough to know like kind of what clubs we're going to play roughly. Um, but then if you were to do this on a random course, having not seen it before, that's where things get really interesting. It would, yeah. yeah. No, I got a hot, hot start. I was, I was pretty happy. Did. I buried the first three, and I'm thinking like, oh, here we go. <laughs> this is going to be a great round. We might need to change the title of this video, essentially, right. what I was thinking. But uh, yeah, I'll see if I can keep it going. I got a couple of par fives to come still, but it's, once again, only have four golf clubs, and then includes right. the putter. So yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Uh, we'll see how it works out. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for these last four holes. There's some birdies out there. Yeah, we got some birdie holes, so let's that's, that's make some birds. Wow, that's good. Thank you. That's so good. Mm. Yeah, another one. Hard work, but good. Not ideal positioning off the tee, but you can up and down from there. I have 83 to the 150 marker, which would indicate I have, what, 230 some to the middle of the green. If I can hit a seven iron, 160, should be far enough to hit the 58 degree wedge in easily. Give me a look at the green, please. Seven iron would have been great today. Go in. Take a shot. Ooh. Four under through eight with a par five coming up. Wow, so birdie here. Tight little 30. 29 <laughs> eagle. That's what you're going for, the 29. All right, we're on the 9T, Thomas. Um, you're playing some good golf. I'm impressed. Um, you've been setting yourself up in, in good spots and making the pars when you need to. Um, so we're on nine. Any goal here? I know you're four under par, so I mean, you're, you're, you're close to breaking 30 almost. It is a short par five. It's 480. Uh, if I hit a good drive, 310, I'd leave myself around about 170, which would be a driver eight iron. So Which I'm sitting have. pretty there as long as I can hit the ball fairly straight. If I mm -hmm. hit it a little, hit it well, I might have a little shorter than that, but I can always hit a, a knockdown shot. But I got to hit the drive in the fairway. That's going to be the, the big piece to it. But I'm feeling good. I'm not going to lie. I, uh, I've scrambled pretty well today. Mm -hmm. I've had to use that 60 degree a lot of times yeah. out here. I feel like every hole I've used it on. Yeah. So it's been, uh, I might have used it on every hole actually. Yeah. When I think about it. So 
I have. I've yeah, you have. On, I've used it on, I've used it eight times in eight holes. <laughs> well, so <laughs> this is the hole you don't yeah. then, right? Hopefully. Driver eight hours to in the hole. Yeah. But, uh, and I have a chance to actually shoot even par with a birdie here. So uh, I'm exceeding my own expectations. Well, I shouldn't speak too soon here. We got a hole left, but. Um, yeah, we can't take anything away about how well you grind it after the first couple holes. Yeah. You play pretty solid after that. Yeah, I've, I've stayed the course, but um, nice well, hole. Let's finish strong. Yeah, let's do it. This tee shot is tricky because those bunkers out there are like right where my three wood's gonna land. I'm liking so, driver here. Like driver's the play here. Come on, turn back. I ripped it, it's just right. I'm gonna have to do some punching. Oh, it's way left. If you cleared them, uh, you might have a look. It's actually not gonna be too far off from my, uh, from my actual eight iron distance. So hitting it left actually wasn't a bad play, unintentional. But I got 175 left. No idea. In the back left bunker. Back bunker? Yeah. Guess I am gonna use my 60 one more time. I had to punch out and I hit it too far. So I have 166, I have to really lay off the seven iron. That was thin, get out of the bunker. It's in the bunker. Shoot. Nice shot. Thank you. There's literally no sand here. Look out, Drew. All right, you gotta look. What a save. Makes me so mad. <laughs> Good putt in the bottom of the hole. All right, well, Thomas, we're done with our nine holes. Um, 31 for you, that's pretty impressive with four golf clubs. Um, you made four birdies and you scrambled for the pars when you needed to. We had, both of us had some interesting pars on the last hole here, but um, recap things for us. And I mean, I, I kind of asked you this before, but would you change anything in your setup? I know you were, a lot of times you said, I wish I had seven irons, seven, eight iron. Yeah, seven irons and eight iron. Yeah. Absolutely, would have been, I would have been on the green on mm -hmm. probably all the par threes. Uh, I scrambled. Um, I think that just shows the importance of how important your short, short, short game is. Mm -hmm. I use my putter 10 times in nine holes. And I say use my putter because one of those was on the fringe. I was just off the green, but yeah. technically that. So technically you had nine putts on the round. Technically stats wise, yes, I had nine putts on the round. I also used, now we were talking about on the ninth tee about using my 60 eight times until the ninth hole. I actually used it twice on the last hole. <laughs> so I used my 60 degree 10 times on those nine holes. So you used your 60 degree and your putter both 10 times yep. on that nine hole round, which is interesting. but. Your short game was impressive the entire time. You had the one with the, the tough situation with the bunker there, but other than that, fantastic short game, and that's what gave you or given you the you know the four under par, thirty one score. Yeah, I um, wish I I wish I had that second shot over on hole hole nine and just play a little more conservative. Yeah, I was going for twenty nine. Yeah, and as soon as I hit it, I'm like, that's not gonna be good. And I know there's not much sand in that bunker, and there was zero sand yeah. in there, and that bunker shot. I was like, I have to go for it. I have to try and shoot thirty or. I just knew there's no way yeah. with the amount of bounce. I actually probably should have putted that shot. Of, of all bunker shots I've ever played, there was no sand on the ball. I, if I had putted that, I probably had a better chance getting that really close. Mm. But then I got up and down. I made a nice putt for par, so could have been worse, right? Yeah, and that would have been great content too if you had putted that from the bunker. But uh, uh, no, another day, maybe that's for yeah. another video. Yeah, maybe another video down the I've road. I've never done it, so but yeah. We'll try it. How to put out of the bunker when you have firm sand? But <laughs> no, I, uh, I I I was kind of surprised too. I think I happened to be in the money zone. I happened to pick the right clubs, three wood and seven iron. Seven iron, I was the perfect distance multiple times out there and uh, hit a few really good seven shot, seven iron shots actually. So you did. Um, your your par three game was really strong. Which I thought it was really really strong. Like the. Was it hole five and hole eight? You mm -hmm. hit some great shots in there yeah. and gave yourself a good chance for birdie. So mm -hmm. I was impressed. You hit inside me on every single time on the part three. So, yeah. So, and you shot 36, right? Yeah. One over. That's, I mean, that's excellent. Once again, four golf clubs, three I know. plus the putter. So, it makes you think, though, yeah. like, I mean, you come out here and we had to, I mean, a few times you had to manipulate shots. I had to hit 130 or 7 iron once, but I mean, it's, it's just about getting the ball into the hole. And sometimes it doesn't have to be one particular shot. You can create different shots and you can, um, it's just, 
working your way around the course, course management too. And like and me not having driver for sure helped me today too. Yeah. So well, that also comes down to two club fitting. You don't have to have 14 golf clubs in your bag. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't like to have 14 golf clubs. You know, as you hit it further and further, you need to have extra clubs for gapping. We we showed there's some places where we needed a little bit of gapping today. If we were going to continue on and play the other nine holes, I know there's some longer holes out there where I would have needed the three iron or I would need a nine iron or wedge to try and mm -hmm. fill the gaps there. Good enough for that front nine because the holes were almost playable with what we had. Yeah. Um, but I mean, it comes down to mantle. Yeah. I wasn't even thinking about. It. I was like, well, this is this will be a fun day, and then I started birdie, birdie, birdie. I'm like, <laughs> well, then I got really competitive. Yeah. And then I was like, this this is gonna be fun here. I wanted to break thirty, but. Save that for another day, uh, right? I mean, let's not complain about a 31 to four <laughs> golf clubs today. But uh, no, that, this was fun. And we'll do something like this again in the future. Maybe we'll mix up the clubs. Maybe it'll be, I pick your clubs, you pick my clubs, and then we can really get uh, you know, more competitive, as you like to say, with it. So Yeah, it's but, important too, brought up. We got fit specifically for these golf clubs. We so did. we knew exactly what the distance we're going with these mm -hmm. clubs. So that's the important thing to keep in mind. I've played this wedge a lot. I know I need a little bit of extra bounce on my wedge, so there's a reason why I play the PM grind wedge. Mm -hmm. I love it, it's so easy to, you know, I, I can get up and down from anywhere, except when I have firm sand, but that's, yeah. for, well, that's another story. Yeah. But yeah, then also, you know, driver, I've optimized my driver to know how I can hit that thing a little straighter and a little bit further, and you've hit that three-wood a lot too, so you've, you've got fit for those clubs, yep. and they're working for you. Clearly, the irons are working for you too, so club yep. fitting is very, very important, so, it's important to also come in and get fit for your clubs. I know we do a lot of content on getting fit and the right fitting there too, but yeah. this is a fun day. Yeah, this was really good. It shows the importance of getting fit for your clubs and management and strategy out on the course as well. Uh, plant, plotting your way around and thinking ahead for the next shot as well. I think we did a lot of that today too. But Thomas, thanks for shooting a 31, giving the viewers some good golf. Um, I know you maybe wanted to cup a little bit more, uh, you know, better chance on that last hole for the 29 but this was fun um there's some good golf here and i hope the, the viewers liked this one because i had fun with this one yeah that was a lot of fun good playing drew